all right good morning everybody we are heading to the bay area barber battle i say we because i'm waiting on my partner the one and only mr tamel Pittman, aka mr uppercuts they were gonna meet up and uh, carpool down and uh, get busy with the bay y'all uh, he should be pulling up in a minute so in the meantime i got all the camera equipment and everything in the trunk so we're going to get this stuff all squared away and organized so when we get there we can get in and handle business because we're a little behind so uh mr uppercut should be pulling up in a minute here and he has arrived watch something what what you bring the back oh Okay, man. I thought you was about to be funny. Oh, this, I'm serious. Well, where, where you heading, man? We met Lens. Um, we're headed out to the Bay Area Barber Battle. Yes, sir. It's like my barber's club, full effect. Let's go. I got a shirt for you, too. I look <laughs> like the shirt. That's the shirt I gave you. That's the one I was talking about. The good feeling shirt. Yeah, it does feel hella good. I did have one. I, I was wrong. Hey, welcome back everybody. This is Lonnie Horn, Sacramento Barbers Club, and we're here with a very special guest today. Uh, actually, you guys might know this app, Booksy. If you're a barber, this is one of our main apps in our industry that we live and die by. So I'm very honored to have the founder and CEO, Stefan, in the house today. Why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about uh, your, your venture and your purpose with uh, Booksy. I'm honored being here with you today. Um, well, I started Booksy four years ago uh, to solve my very personal problem. I've always been a very busy person running my business and having a family and two kids. So uh, I could only think about planning my schedule uh, late night when I put kids to bed, when I spend some time with my wife. And then I looked at my calendar, figuring out how to squeeze in my uh, massage because I needed it from time to time uh, being an ultra distance runner or my haircut um, or, or some other personal issues. And it was virtually impossible to book those appointments at 10 or 11 p.m. So that's how I first uh, thought like, hey, there's got to be a better way to solve it uh, than texting people or calling them and going back and forth sometimes for a few days. I had the need, they had availability, but we were never able to schedule it so that I could visit them the very next day. So I spoke with my barber and my physiotherapist and they both liked the idea, so I just decided to pursue that idea. Nice. Now, we're sharing the mic today. I appreciate you being flexible with us. Um, that's a great story. I want to ask you, how, how long ago did you start Booksy? So we started it four years ago. That's when we created the app and we... Um, there is that uh, uh, period of product to market fit seeking. So when we launched the app, I, I'm not a barber myself. So we didn't know how they, how barbers and how stylists and massage therapists, how they run their business. So it took us few years, I mean, few months to uh, make the app like really good to make test sure, it out. tested it out. And three years ago, we started shipping it and selling. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to be very honest with you. Uh, our, our platform, we we don't we don't gear anybody towards any particular thing. We try to share everything that's out there for everyone. So I'm going to be very honest with you. Uh, my partner and I we started with uh, square appointments a while back, and we didn't even know about Booksy. 
and uh, we started running into more and more stylists that use it. So we've been a little, we've become more interested in it. Uh, what would you say is is maybe one or two of the main benefits uh, that you know, not to put any other app down, but that a barber should or a stylist should consider Booksy for? What are, what are one of the main one or two things that you guys offer? Um. I believe the most important uh, things are that we help barbers to make more money and we uh, help uh, them with that in two ways. So the first one is we help them to increase their revenue by bringing their existing clients to book them more frequently and by bringing them new clients they can surface uh, we can surface barbers on Yelp on Facebook on Instagram on Google so that's how they can acquire new clients and they can also get new clients of Booksy because we got millions of people using Booksy now so when they travel whether it's business or pleasure more and more people use Booksy so we hear barbers telling us more frequently like hey I got a lot of new clients of Booksy they just came to town for the weekend or you know for a week they needed a barber so um, that, that's how they found me and we also help them to protect from no-shows so we have deposit from no-shows so we have yeah we have deposits and we have no show fees so basically barbers can make more money if they even if their clients do not show up so these are the two most important thing and on top of that there is superb usability I believe we have the easiest app that's out there and because of that people book more frequently so at the end of the day all apps they virtually do the same right they all uh, yeah but the, the, the difference is in details the difference is in how easy it is to schedule appointments because the more difficult it is then the, the more people will drop off during that process and that's how Booksy is I believe it's the best app that's out there okay I really like a couple of things that you pointed in uh, you pointed out um, barbers I'm a barber and I'm also a barbershop owner uh, barbers look for convenience okay simplicity uh, user-friendly type of thing so that was a very big key point that you put out there so you barbers watching I want you to take that into uh, consideration the fact that you say it's very user-friendly um, uh, there's also so is there a desktop and a uh, okay in the app version okay so one thing that I would like to do is tell people uh, what does it cost monthly and do you guys do a free trial or anything like that for startups so Booksy runs on desktop and on mobile phones. We have that mobile first approach. As majority of industry, it's independent barbers and stylists. So we wanted to make sure that they, they'll be able to use Booksy on their phones. However, we added a desktop version for bigger barbershops and salons that have a receptionist and that want to use a computer to see schedule of multiple barbers. Um, when it comes to charges, it's super uh, easy. When you are an independent barber, it's less than a dollar a day. So it's $29.99 a month. If, if, if you are a shop owner and you want to get it for all your barbers, it's uh, extra $10 for every additional barber. I'm excited about what you just said. I'm so serious. Uh, that was going to be my next question. Do you have anything for uh, groups? So I want to implement that for my barber shop. Um, so how many how many barbers can you add to that? Uh, you can actually add unlimited number of barbers, and then we cap the price at hundred and twenty dollars. So if you have twenty or thirty barbers, then you don't pay for every additional one. We always cap it at one twenty. So be between one barber, which is thirty dollars a month and unlimited number of barbers which is 120 anything in between it's ten dollars every extra person well I'm gonna tell you this um, I am going to try Booksy out I'm gonna try Booksy out we've um, I've always used Square it was the first thing I was familiar with but I want to ex I want to express to our audience how it's it's good to audition and find out what fits for you um, as I like that package I like that package deal so I'm gonna try that before I let you go though I want to ask you did you ever think that it would blow up this big did you ever have any clue or just any any idea no I, I would be lying if I said that I did like we always knew we were onto something, something very big. Like once we launched Booksy and we had feedback from the very first barbers and stylists that started using us, 
my partner Conrad and I, we felt like we are onto something big, but I never realized that uh, that would blow up to this size. So today, Booksy is um, the number one booking app for hair and beauty, not only in the US, but also in Canada, in the UK, Ireland, Poland, Brazil, South Africa, and Spain. Wow. So that makes us also number one globally. So Where did it kick off with? So it kicked off uh, three years ago when we started shipping here in the US. And yeah, and then a few months later, we open, opened up in 30 different markets and it started growing like crazy. We celebrate success. I get chills just looking in your eyes because I know you, it's just exciting, isn't it? I can tell. I'm happy for you. Um, we, we talked before we got on the mic. I'm really hoping we could do some events together. Uh, I'm excited for you to come and see what we do in Sacramento. Uh, we're very proud. We've had crazy, crazy turnouts, man. And, and our events are really uh, just really big networking uh, events. So I'm, I'm really hoping to have you in the house. I'm excited to help uh, barbers in Sacramento. I just moved into the Bay Area. In fact, I was in Sacramento just last week celebrating my uh, son's 15th birthday. So we went to Top Golf. I love the area. This is the capital of the state. So we'll come up with something special for all the Sacramento barbers and stylists. So uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned. We'll be. Uh, uh, we'll be working together to bring the best of, of Booksy and Sacramento Barber Club to barbers in the area. Looking forward to it. We're looking forward to it. It's a pleasure to meet you. Just honored to have you on the camera. Really glad to, to kind of expose what you're doing to our audience. And uh, hopefully it motivates some of them to uh, get more organized and, uh, and go ahead and sign up for your app, man. And uh, help you keep growing and help them keep growing, right? Absolutely. All right, man. So uh, you guys, again. Booksy, this is our guy Stefan, and we out. Sacramento Barbers Club. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Mr. Uppercuts, Sacramento Barbers Club. Hey, I bumped into somebody that I, I found out in Vegas, man. Me and my boy L Boog was out at the Vegas Expo, and he seen this chick all the way across the, the aisle, and he was like, man, who is she? I want to meet her. We didn't get a chance to meet her there, but we ran to the airport, and guess who we run into? Danny be the best barber. Man, her ski low, her style, her attitude is just energetic. She's full of life. She's got a lot going on. I want y'all to meet her live in person right here is Danny be the best barber. Where you from, love? Detroit. Detroit. We all the way out here in the Bay Area at the Bay Area Barber Battle, and she's flying all the way out here from Detroit to show some love and to put her product out there. This was all about marketing. You guys gotta take advantage of every opportunity that you get to market yourself and brand yourself. Tell them a little bit about yourself. My name Danny Be The Best. I believe in the law of attraction. So if you look like something, you are gonna get something. Um, I'm blessed, I believe in God. He here, I'm not here. You know, I just do what he tell me to do. And I'm here, I met these guys and we making history. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you, 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 you're musical inclined. we seen your video. Go to your page. Tell them your IG. The Best Cuts. The Best Cuts. She got a live little video on there. It's, it's very motivating. Also, you have products, and you're starting a product brand. And what is the product brand name, and then what kind of um, stuff that you have on your product line? Uh, the brand is called Best Hair Care Solutions. Again, my name is Danny. Last name is Best, so Best Hair Care Solutions. It's all natural product. Um, I have a light cream moisturizer. I don't know what you got under that hat, but it's probably gonna help you, even if it's a bald head. I have a, a hair and beard oil, which will change your beard in less than two weeks. That's guaranteed. Yes, you need the beard oil for sure. And um, I have a hair freshener. So it's a, it's a hair glaze, and it's also a hair freshener. So it'll keep you smelling good, looking good, feeling good. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I love what she do, man. I love her style. She's young. How old are you? 12. Hey, 12. Add about a 10 to that, but she is live, man. 26 years old. She's doing a lot more than some cats I know, 40, 50 years old, has been in this game for years. So hey, to all you young cats out there in the industry, do you have anything, words of advice to them to how they can get started? It's not about building a, 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 like a product line, but just their brand in, in, in general. Um, the, 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 the best thing that I can, the best advice I can give is just to uh, be yourself and um, do what your heart feel like you want to do. 
Um, don't try to keep up with the people around you because it's um, only nobody can do you better than you can do you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not exactly where I want to be or where I'm going to be, but I just keep working hard, you know, and I just I have fun. That's it. Yep. Well, y'all heard it, man. Danny be the best barber. You know she the man. best. You know what time it is. She's going to have me saying that all weekend. All right, guys. Sacramento Barbers Club, Mr. Uppercuts, and we out. Get out the way. Get out the way. All right, folks. Ten more minutes remaining in this category. Ten more minutes remaining. All right, Barbers World. This is Lonnie Horn, Sacramento Barbers Club, and I am here with one of our favorite people to run into at Barber Battles, and it's Mark Cuts in the house, man. Welcome, man. Good to see you. How you doing, everybody? This is me, Marcus, M-A-R underscore K-U-T-V-V. That's Instagram name. How's everybody doing? I'm over here promoting motive. You heard that. He's promoting motive. And not only is he promoting motive, but you're also a barbershop owner, right? Yeah, I'm a barbershop owner. I'm about to open up my second location in Chico. Uh, grand opening will be in February 2019, so I'm kind of happy and proud of myself about that. Well, I'm not kind of happy, man. I'm excited as hell for you, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, let me tell you why I'm excited, man, because we uh, we use this platform to motivate people who are thinking too long, who are out thinking ourselves. Have you ever, I, I think we all victims of that, but have you ever out thought yourself of your, your ambition and your dreams and your goals? Yeah, I mean, I always, uh, you know, second think about my actions, especially this kind of, you know, big move that I'm doing, you know, but... Uh, to be honest, you know, I can only appreciate, you know, my brother was my, my inspiration. You know, he was the one that started this whole barber industry in Chico, California, you know, and it, it escalated for everybody to open up their barbershop. And here I was, you know, I, I wanted to do my own thing, you know, and I'm happy that I'm doing good with my first location to where now I got some people that want to, you know, work under me. So I had, I had another chance but to open up a second location, you know, so all I can say is that, you know, you got to fail in order to get up and do it again. That's what I was waiting for. Yeah. That's what I was pushing for, man. See, sometimes we're so tied into our push and our, our fail and then our, you know, our rise back up that we don't realize how inspirational it could be for other people who are stuck back where we were on step one. And that's why I was asking you about, you know, being being out thinking ourselves because I'm assuming now for you to open a second place, you've learned to not do that. Oh, man, I, I've had a lot of slips. I've had a lot of fails. You know, I've had a lot of uh, that word. I, I don't want to use the word. Uh, I got to use it again. There's a lot of haters that are going to always tell you, you know, don't do it, don't do it because of this, don't do it because of that. But to be honest, man, everybody that you guys follow on Instagram with all these 10K, 20K, 40K uh, followers, don't let that, you know, discourage you because at the end of the day, they all started for where we're at, you know. And I'm going to get there one day, and I'm sure – that if you're listening to this and you're listening to this podcast, I eventually want to be up there. But to me, it's not the followers. To me, it's not the likes or the attention. To me, it's what people, if they see me and I'm some sort of 2% inspiration, then good. If not, then you know what? Oh, well, I don't know what else to say. But to me, you know, my brother was my inspiration. My boy Louis from Motive is my inspiration. You know, Tyreek Jackson. If you guys don't follow these kind of people on Instagram or on their podcast, uh, Marvy Marv, I mean, people like that, Sacramento Barbers, you know, club. Man, I don't know what you guys are doing, man, because you guys are my inspiration. This is why I'm doing what I'm doing. And I hope that if you guys are watching this film and following my Instagram and following these people, man, hey, we all start from the bottom, and it's time to walk yourself up. I love I love how you plug that, man. And, and what he just said is really big because we're, we're big supporters of each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and for you people that – consider coming out to these events and out think yourself i love using that that term because i know so many people back home we shoot these videos and we go back we come and we get these experiences and we go back and we try to use it as motivation for the people who were out thinking themselves and when when they get to see people like us you, i mean you're in chico right right, right, right. Oh, you're in chico we're in sacramento and look we run into each other man it's like we act like cousins or something we like it's love right we walk into the event we see each other and, and it's just love 
and that that's that grew from us recognizing each other's ambition exactly. and there's so many more of us out here like that and that's what we're trying to put out there so anyhow man uh, before we let you go I want you to tell them just a little bit what, what's your hottest product uh, or something that you're the most proud of with motive right now that people should know about barbers and you know any other hair professionals I mean, to be honest, man, when I got put on Motive, we started off with a few things, only like seven things, you know what I mean? And now we just have just about anything that we can offer for the barber industry, for the Cosmo industry. I mean, we have black masks, we have three, four types of combs, we have gel, we're about to come out with some hair texture powder, we have a, we, we have a pomade coming out. I mean, there's a lot of things coming out, you know, we have capes and, you know, our hardest thing that sells the most is our hair grippers and our bending comb. Wow. You know? Okay, that's big. And, and we see you with a booth at every event, man. Man, I try to support all my people because eventually when Motive throws hair words in Vegas, we want everybody to support us. You know what I mean? And for me, the thing is you got to support them in order for them to support you back. If not, then what are you doing in this industry? Man, well said. Man, honestly... I could talk to you all day, man, but I appreciate you taking the time and plugging our followers, plugging our supporters with the game that you have, man. And uh, I want you to go out here and do some good business. And uh, to the next one, man, this is uh, Lonnie Horn, Sack Barbers Club, and my boy Mark Cuts representing for Motive, y'all. Let's do this. Let's do this, man. Yo, it's your boy, Mr. Uppercuts, with part of the Sacramento Barbers Club. You know, any barber in Sacramento you're already affiliated with the Sacramento Barbers Club. It's not about me and it's not about Lon. It's about educating. It's about uplifting. It's about networking. This dude right here, I like to call him the Network King of Sac. This guy right here is anywhere and everywhere. We're, we're all the way in the Bay Area, and look who I see. Jeff, 6818 Barbershop. Hey, tell him who you are and what got you into the barber business. Well, my name is Jeff, owner, operator of a 6818 Barbershop, proud member of Sacramento Barbers Club. And um, what got me into barbering, man, is just uh, I was discontent with my job, man. I was discontent with working somebody else's clock, and uh, I wouldn't get no joy from it. I was already cutting hair on the side, so I rolled my dice on that and been winning ever since, man. Nice. Now, how long has your shop been open? Uh, about two and a half years now. And how is it doing? It's going great, man. It's going great. It's a small, intimate shop. I got a barber in there right now. Got another chair open. Any barbers out there interested, please just holler at me. And things are going great. We having fun. What advice do you have for any upcoming barbers to either start their, um, their own shop or just to be a professional and successful barber? Um, well, first, I, I believe, like, yo, we got to um, detach, like, the, the, the pursuit of money. Um, from barbering, you know, and I know it's hard to do that because that's what we all need is money. But really, once I separated the money from barbering and really just did, gave into my passion, it gave me like all the motivation, everything that I needed to move forward. Even when things were slow, doing two, three haircuts a day, it was just a love for barbering and me trying to accomplish my goals that helped me move forward. So I would say that, like try to detach from the material things of actually having a shop. Don't, 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 don't think of that idea like that or having a lot of money. Just enjoy the passion. Enjoy the profession of barbering. You build it, and they will come. And you right. built it, and they've been coming. Yes, sir. Hey, yes, sir. I love this guy, man. Yeah, we, man he I was in Vegas man. with us. We was out here in the Bay Area yeah. with us. He's anywhere and everywhere. Yeah. So give it up to my boy Jeff from 6818. Sacramento, y'all got to get your game right. Put those clippers up and start making you some yeah. money and start making yeah. your brand very professional and very successful. Shout out, Mr. Uppercuts is out. So this is Lonnie Horn, Sacramento Barbers Club. I'm very honored to be here with a young, ambitious hitter in the barber game, Mr. Jay Faded. And uh, well, actually what I'm gonna do is try to tap in him for a little motivation for some of you up and coming barbers. We are here at the uh, Battle of the Bay in the Bay Area. And I just want you to tell us about the first barber battle you attended. Absolutely. So the first barber battle I attended was with it was with Chuka the barber, Zay the barber, and Deluxe. So the trio right there, they showed me the way. It was in L.A. And um, ever since then, this is my fifth one so far. Uh, yeah, that's my, that's my fifth one. Yes, sir. Dude. Okay. So I didn't. We didn't prep for this. I I, I like that. What I just what I just heard from you. So you're telling me your first one wasn't even in Sacramento. It was in the Bay Area. I mean, I'm sorry, L.A. Yeah. It was in okay. LA. So how did you end up in L.A.? How'd you find out about that one? 
uh, just through Instagram, and then uh, a lot of the guys in the barbershop talk about it. But you know, if you're a barber, and a lot of guys saying, "Let's go to the let's go to the battle," they're like, "Oh, I don't want to take off like my, my day off. I don't want to do that." But I was all for it. I'm young. I'm like, man, I want to see what's in this industry. Every product, every you know booth, what what they got. I want to see what it's about. Hey, man, I, I really salute you for that uh, that ambition, man. Um, now you're not from Cali originally. You're from Ohio, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. What brought you? What brought you here? Chuka the barber, the rich barber. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so as a young barber, like I thought, man, how do I get into this industry? And who can I learn from? And they say you just gotta find someone who's done what you wanna do, and then try to trace their steps back. So I figured the best person I could learn from is the man himself. And um, so what brought me out here is uh, Chuka. He actually is one of those guys that. You know, if you if you reach out to him on social media, he'll respond to you, man. And I got that offer, got that chance. And next thing you know, I'm talking to him like a 10-minute phone call with the man himself. And I'm just like, look, I'm the last couple of years I've been I've been cutting hair and like house calls. I was a, I was in college, but I realized like this is what I want to do with my life. Barbering's changed my life. So I I quit the job I had. I dropped out of school and went all in with cutting hair. And he heard that ambition, he heard that drive, and he's like, all right, uh, how soon can you get out here? Like, what's your plan and everything? I got out there, and he's like. He's like, so when you go back to Ohio? I'm like, I'm not going back. He's like, oh, so you moved here? <laughs> I said, yes, sir. <laughs> man, this is one of the best stories I ever heard in Barber, man. I'm so proud of you, man. Straight up. <laughs> I'm so proud of work. <laughs> man, come on, man. Can you imagine how many people are watching this right now who've, like, outthought themselves out of ambitious moves that could change their lives, and now they're sitting here listening to your story, man? Dude, I'm so proud. I'm glad. I'm happy to have you here. And uh, you guys, I want you to make sure you follow my guy right here. Matter of fact, let them know how they can follow and support you because guess what? Like I said, there might be a guy watching you right now that wants to reach out and ask a few things, even though you might not feel like you're there yet. But guess what? There's somebody, man, that can look up to what you've done and, and hit you up on the same level. So plug yourself. Okay. Well, one thing I want to say is I'm a, I'm a rich barber. But I'm always, I still have a long way to go. And so what I'm doing is I'm mastering the 10 Rich Barber Commandments. So before somebody would ask me for advice, I would hope that they go follow the, the Rich Barber Commandments. There's 10 of them. If you master those, you don't need to ask me anything. You're going to be where you want to be. But I'm at the Rich Barber Hair Studio, uh, J Faded on Instagram and YouTube. Check me out. My guy, I'm so happy to have you in the house, man. Glad you're representing with the Sacramento Barbers Club, man. I'm loving to see you at all the events. It's like it's turning into family, man, and, you know, we're going to keep on spreading this love. Y'all, Sacramento Barbers Club, Lonnie Horn, Jay Faded, next time. Hey, welcome back, Barber World. Lonnie Horn with the Sacramento Barbers Club. I got one of our boys, our family right here, man. JT, the barber boy. How you feeling today, man? Man, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just happy to see everybody. You feel me? A great, a great event. If you ain't here, you missed out, man. Um, I'm just happy, man. You know, I'm doing my, my, I'm just doing what I do. Well, you know what? He said great event. We didn't even tell you where we are. We're at the Bay Area Barber Battle, man. Shout out to Jerry Herrera, right? One of our boys. Uh, matter of fact, this is your second. This is their sixth one, right? Six, this is our sixth annual Bay Area Barber. We used to call it a battle, but now we turned it into an expo. Where we got more beauty, uh, braiders, makeup, all that involved. You know what I mean? We're trying to expand and, and really just cover the whole beauty and hair world. Now, I think you and uh, I think you guys' squad is like a super team, man. When you guys sit down do, and, and put this together, um, how long does it take to put something like this together? You, you do it annually. Hey, as soon as we finish this, we're already going to get started on the next year, man. Like, you guys don't understand. It's a lot of work that you got to put in to make a successful, great event with a good outcome, a good amount of people that show up. You know what I mean? Like, Look, you can have excess amount of followers, and you can promote on Instagram or Facebook or whatever it is. But if you're not doing the groundwork, if you're not like I'm talking, I'm talking about you got to do a year in advance. Why do you think the CT Barber Expo it is what it is? You know what I mean? It's because they they really develop a, 
a group that's, that's going to put it all together, and, and it's, it's all tactical. You know what I'm saying? Well, man, one thing, um, one thing we try to share with our audience is the power of networking, man. When we come to these events, it, it's funny, man. We're in two different cities, and when we see you, it's love, man. It's like family. And we see you at multiple events. We've seen each other in Vegas. We see each other in San Jose, Frisco. Every time we turn around, man, can you tell the people that are watching the importance of attending events like this and what it could do to it or how can it impact their careers? Listen, guys, it took me eight times to win a trophy, right? I competed. Because I lost, it doesn't mean that, that I stopped you know, competing, you know what I mean? I kept going, I kept going, and finally I won. But what did that create? That created awareness. Every time that I competed, or every time I even showed up to battle, people already knew I was competing. They're like, what category are you doing? What category are you doing? Because they knew. Why? Because my presence was there. I was there competing. If I, if I wasn't, look, if I show up to a show, I'm gonna get involved one way or another. Whether it's competing, whether it's education, whether it's showcasing, all I wanna do, is be in the picture. You know what I'm talking about? I don't want to be irrelevant. I want to be relevant. So I'm going to be involved one way or another. So for all you up and coming barbers that are trying to make an impact or trying to create a name for yourself, you got to come to these events. You got to network. You got to shake people's hands. Too many people acting too cool in the corner talking about, oh, I'm going to do me. Like, bro, like you're only in it. You're, you're limiting yourself. So you gotta you gotta get off the you gotta come off the Instagram off the IG sometime and get out here and, and, and actually fill a hand, shake a hand every now and then. You gotta put a name to a face. Come on. Look, I Gary it's the reason Gary V reached out to me. If you don't know who Gary V is, look him up. He reached out to me, boom, he's like, yo, I wanna meet you, you're part of my I want you to be a part of my networking team, blah blah blah. So I said, Okay, you know what I mean? That's an opportunity. I'm a take I'm a risk taker. So I went to New York and uh, sure enough, he's like, bro, I want, I want to put a face to a name. So what I do, I went to New York. He shook my hand. Now he knows who I am. He, he knows what I look like. You know, it's much more than just DMing. It's much more than just commenting on each other's pictures because now I met him personally. You know how important it is to really shake someone's hand and look them in their eye and be like, yo, I'm J.T. the Barber. You know what I'm talking about? That sticks with you. So it's very important to go to shows. It's very important to network, put a put a face to a name. It, all that matters, you know. It's not just cutting hair. It's a lot that goes into this barber or cosmetology or beauty industry that people don't realize. Like you got to put a lot of work, but it's not just behind the chair. It's a lot of stuff outside of the shop too. This this is very important to be a part of this and, and network and shake hands. Because look, now that I am who I am, like. I don't know, there can be a 16-year-old that just started cutting hair that, can, that probably looks up to me or that looks up to you. So that's what I'm saying, stay relevant. Because, look, you never know whose hand you're going to shake. You never know who's watching you. You know what I'm talking about? All these barbers that want to get sponsored, right? You're now competing on the, on, the, on the stage. You don't know if Wall's here. You don't know if Andy's is here. You don't know if Sacramento Barber Club is here, right. and they see you performing on stage, and they're like, I like how that guy presents himself. I like how he's doing things. I, I like how he's taking care of business. I'm going to sign him. Come on. Come on, man. That's so much game right there, man. I, I, I'm, I'm overwhelmed Like when I talk to you, and we're, that's why we always try to get you to share. Everything you just wrapped up with right there is so big. We just interviewed the CEO of Booksy today. You know, you never know who's walking through these these aisles, man. You got 360 Jeezy walking down right here. You got JT the Barber, Jerry Herrera, Keek the Sneak on stage. Dude, you just never know. But you were not going to find out behind your phone. You got to get out here and get face-to-face -face and, like you said, hand-to-hand. -hand. So, anyway, man, I appreciate you so much. It's always love. And not only that, man, I'm glad Gary V reached out to you. I think you worth Gary V reaching out to, man, because we're a big supporter and fan of yours, too, man, and, and a brother at that, man. So, keep pushing. Hey, Sacramento Barber Club, Sacramento Barber Club, make sure to follow them because, look, they're, they're at every event that I've been to. You know what I mean? They're supportive. And that's how it should be. 
I, I, I preach on it all the time. All you barbers, hashtag and barber love, but you want to even show love to any boots. Do you realize how much work it takes for these barbers to come out with a product and spend their hard-earned money on this product that, that they potentially think has has value or worth or, or, or something? What's up, world? It's your boy, Mr. Uppercuts. I'm out here at the Bay Area Barber Battle, uh, put on by my boy Jerry out of Santa Rosa, California. We're just picking up on people that's passing by, chit-chatting with some cats, and running to some of our local natives from Sacramento, California. We got Carlos, Barber Los, uh, is the man right here. He came to one of our battles out in Sacramento and competed. Tell them a little bit about your experience that you had at, at the battle, and was that your first battle? This was my first battle, man, and honestly, it was truly an experience. Like, uh, you know, you get a little nerve-wracking at first. It's a different environment from the shop, you know? So you think about, like, uh, everybody around you, you're not thinking about, you know, that just that one person. You're like, but it's, it's all about getting focused on what you do every day, you know, at the end of the day, because, you know, you're blessed with that talent, you know, so you could do it. So that's what, exactly what I did, you know, and I just did what I do best, you know, cut hair. I try to, you know, and uh, just, just uh, it's all love in the game. Good. What did you compete in? What category was it? I did the design. Nice. Did you place? Uh, not yet. They haven't announced us. Okay. So this is your first battle. This is my first battle. Dope, dope, dope. And you drove all the way from Sacramento. What made you want to get into this battle? Uh, it's my first one, so I wanted to, you know, come out here with a bang and see, you know, see, let everybody know who I am, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm here, you know, I'm here to do this thing. Well, I know we're rooting for you, and hopefully everybody in Sacramento and everybody that knows you rooting for you. We want to see you be successful. We want to see you take your craft to the next level. And at this barber battle is going to be a, 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 a pedestal for you to step on to be able to make move your uh, craft forward. So, you want to tell everybody what, what shop you work at? I uh, work at Barber City Cuts and Shaves, man. If you're ever in Sacramento, can, you know, come see me. Come see Lowe's. Los and his buddy, man, they got the cleanest cuts right now. Walking by, he's got a nice little fade comb over with the part. Dope, man. Hey, this is your boy, Mr. Uppercuts, Sacramento Barbers Club. Hey, we love y'all. Stay tuned. Keep following Sacramento Barbers Club. We out.